Representative Palm. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, I intend to support this bill heartily. I was very pleased to help work on it with my uh, Democrats. Uh, and also, I'm very grateful to the other side of the aisle for their participation, especially Rep. Nuccio. Um, I want to limit my remarks to math, not my favorite subject in school. But as a member of the baby boom generation, I get very upset when I hear people my age disparage bills like this, and there is a national effort to do so. And moreover, the young people who need this bill and for whom is primarily intended. And that's because the math of my generation and the math now has dramatically skewed. The Consumer Price Index, which helps measure uh, the relative effect of inflation versus wages and wage stagnation, says that education and the cost of education is one of the greatest and most onerous of uh, metrics. When I went to school in the 70s, you could go to a pretty good four-year college for about $40,000. That is now, the average is now 309000 Forbes magazine, not exactly the bastion of liberal lefty thinking, has said that the rate of college is eight times greater just over the last two decades than it was. So when we run those numbers, when the national minimum wage is $7.25, the effective buying power has actually dropped from what it was in the 1970s, where it was 590 In other words, the cost has risen exponentially while wages have stagnated. And when Forbes magazine says that this is untenable math, I think we should all pay attention, and I would ask folks of my generation not to minimize the tremendous burden that younger people have borne and chalk it up to bad decision making or overreach. This is intergenerational uh, disparity having to do, again, with math that doesn't add up. It's not about avocado toast. It's not about expensive cell phones or sneakers. People my age were able to pay off their college debt because of the CPI being relatively, dramatically more in our favor than it is today for young people. And I urge everybody to take a good hard look at these numbers because a mathematical genius can't make them work. Thank you.